Hello and welcome to another beautiful day. My name is Tony Abba and it is my pleasure to welcome you to A Light for the Nation, a daily devotional program that is brought to you by the Catholic Church. Today we are looking at the topic, Jesus' call to service. And Reverend Father Paul Maji will be our guide. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty and ever-living God, we thank you for the gift of today, especially today as we, your children, are going out in search of our daily meal. Oh God, I pray, may you guide us and protect us. May you see us through, so that at the end of the day, O oh Lord, all our effort will be crowned with success through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Today, we are going to reflect on the topic, Jesus' call to service. Luke Gospel, chapter 13, verse 2 to 6, and 13 to 17. The Lord gives us an example for all to follow when he decides toward the feet of the apostles. He indeed called the twelve of them to walk with him, to learn from him, so that he can direct them in the right path. Some notable symbolisms which may serve as lessons for us are one, he was their Lord and Master, yet he humbled himself to serve them. Once you are called to be a leader in the church, in the society, you are called to serve, not to burden the people. Jesus Christ said in Matthew Gospel, Come to me, all those who are labor and overburdened, and I will give you rest. Our call to serve is to give rest to the people. Number two, he rose from supper and lay aside his garments, which indicates that for us to effectively be of service to our brothers and sisters, we must leave our comfort zones and put aside all the hindrances and barriers to effective service. How can a leader be living in a duplex and those who are under you squatting, some are sleeping 20, 30 in a room? How will you be comfortable to serve people of that nature? We are all called to leave our comfort zone, be with the people, try to feel the pains of your people, joining with them, eat what they are eating, drink what they are drinking. That is enough for you to know that indeed the people that are interested to you are passing through a lot. How can you serve people when you don't eat what they are eating? You don't drink what they are drinking? How can you serve people that the roads that are being constructed are constructed straight to your own house, to your own village, or to your in-laws? But those who are under you will not benefit from these natural resources that we all are expected to enjoy from it. Number three, he gave them himself with a towel and got water into a basin. This indicates that we must acquire the necessary and required tools for service before we can render effective service to our brothers and sisters. What are those tools we need? Number one, we need the tools of patience. As a leader, you have to be patient with your people. You need the tools of humility. You have to humble yourself as Jesus. Bring yourself down. Let the people see Jesus in you. Let the people see the true nature of Christ in you by bringing yourself to their own level. Number three, you have to live by example. As a leader, you can't just be a leader without living by example. People see you the way you talk, the way you move, the way you eat, especially children to their parents. Parents do need to be careful because sometimes you think what you are doing in secret, your children are not watching you. My dear parents, you have a tax ahead of you to put things right so that the future will be indeed a better place for us. Today I encourage us as we go out for our own daily struggle, may the good Lord strengthen us, guide us and protect us. I bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son 
and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Reverend Father Paul Maji is of the Catholic Archdiocese of Abuja, guiding us in today's reflections. I believe he has been able to inspire you to know the call that Jesus always calls us to serve. And whenever he calls us, we need to respond positively to his call. He always calls us to make us better people and better Christians. If you have questions and you want to share, do not forget, send a short note on the numbers as shown on your screen, or send us an email at ctvnigeria at yahoo.com. You can also take advantage of our various social media handles, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Let's follow the conversation and let's adhere to the call of Christ to serve. Bye for now and have a lovely day. Give me a grand chance.